All right, so here we go with section 2.2, uh, the Seattle object. So we are going to, uh, oh, let me step back here real quick. Uh, I think I forgot to mention this in the last video. So C++ is case sensitive. That's a big deal. So something like this, where we have main with, uh, you know, capital M, that is not the same thing as main lowercase here. So if you're trying to use this and you use this, you will get an error. So that's something you have to be very careful when you're setting things up, uh, when you're declaring variables, all that kind of stuff. And we'll talk more about that when we get to variables uh, in a little while too. But I uh, just wanted to mention that. And of course, I mean, I know I talked about this, but uh, every open brace must have a you know, corresponding closing brace. So you have to pay attention to that too. All right, so let's take a look at this. And uh, before we get rolling, there's a video link up at the top. You can see that button up there. Uh, and I try and put links to the videos from our author right in the PowerPoints. So I, I know the links are also in Canvas. Uh, so you you know you obviously see those in there. Um, but the ones from the from the author, you'll see Tony Gass is in most of these videos, and uh, and he does a good job illustrating uh, things to show you how things are working, uh, you know, with the code, and he he does a really good job. So. Definitely check those out. Don't skip those videos. Hopefully you're watching this video, not skipping it. So you can hear me say don't skip those videos. <laughs> but uh, but definitely check those out. So uh, it gives you a different perspective. Uh, so so for sure, for sure, watch Tony's videos too. All right, so as we're looking at this and we're stepping through and, and going, okay, how, do, how does this stuff work, right, along the way? So here we go with the see out statement. We have see out that we're using here. And then we're using, for those of you that like, technical uh, terms and names and all that kind of stuff. So stream insertion operator, that's what we have with two less than signs next to each other. So stream insertion operator, I will just say two less than signs. So, um, you know, with no space in between or anything. So I, I, I just will probably say that most of the time. But um, anyway, so we have that piece there. So as we look at the three, um, well, I mean, technically four statements, but uh, three different pieces here. Uh, we have uh, the C out. We're saying, hey, this is what's going to be output. Remember, uh, if, it, if it helps you, I may be totally weird on this one, but I look at these as like little mini bullhorns so that I know which way um, to use a less than or equal sign uh, or less than or uh, greater than sign, sorry. Uh, so I look at this and I'm like, I'm, I see out, I'm like shouting out what's, and then this is what's going to be shouted out. So I, I look at these little mini bullhorns like, boom, this is going out. So anyway, that's the way I see things. Um, so if that helps you, great. If not, just forget that I even said that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here we go with, with hello there. So here's our statement. What this is going to print on the screen uh, before I go to, to code and show you a different, different set of, uh, well, one, well, you'll see in a second, a different set of code. But uh, when we're looking at this, it's going to say hello, comma, space, there with an exclamation point. All right, so that is what's going to show up on the screen, and, and we're good to go, right? But maybe we want to break this up. So you can do that by closing down the string and separating them out. So here I have C out I'm using. Here comes my, you know, uh, less than, less than again, so stream insertion operator. And then I go, boom, uh, hello comma space notice how i had to keep the space in there otherwise there wouldn't be a space and then i'm going to go ahead and close down my string with the quotes there put in another set and then go ahead and put there inside with the exclamation point and print it so this will print exactly the same way so this will just print on the same line just like this one those are essentially the same things but this is useful to be able to do this because what happens is you may have a string and then you're going to have, you'll see in a little while, in another video, you're going to have maybe uh, something that's pulled from a variable that might show up in here. Then you might have another set of less than signs and then something else. So uh, this, is a, this is a very useful way of doing things. Okay. Now we come down here, we have two completely different statements. Remember statements were ending with a semicolon. So these are two statements. And we're saying see out, here's our less than signs. We've got hello, comma, space, and the quotes there, end of the statement. And then we come down the second line, blah, 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 and here we go there, exclamation point, and we're done, another uh, semicolon right there. And uh, if you're thinking that this may, I ended the statement, so it's going to take it down the next line, right? No. So this prints exactly the same way as this and this. These uh, three different ways of doing it are exact, have the same exact output. Okay. So, um, there's lots of ways of setting up your statements, lots of ways of setting up how you're going to showcase this stuff. So, um, you'll kind of see that along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up, uh, it's a different, different set, but we'll check it out here in a sec. So I have this little piece in here and, uh, it's the same kind of thing. So, uh, it's just from, 
from uh, Tony's books we have an early printing program. So it's in the, I don't remember what page it's on, but uh, but it's in there. All right, so anyway, so we have, we're including, again, at the beginning. So we have this little piece, including IO streams. So we're, we're pulling in the input-output stream library, right? So we're going to say we're using namespace standard. And then here we have int. Here's our main function. Nothing in here yet. We'll get to more of that later. And here's our curly braces. So this curly brace goes with this curly brace, open and close. All right. So let's take a look at the actual code in between all these little pieces. In fact, I'm going to hit enter right here because it kind of bothers me. Um, so the return zero go just signifies the end. We're not returning anything that's the end of the program. But we want to focus on these lines. Okay. So if you look at this and you look at these, these are five separate statements. So this says the, the following items were top sellers during the month of June, computer games, coffee, aspirin. Okay. Uh, notice in this, if I hit visualize execution, and it's going to take a second. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and I'm going to use forward. We'll just pull this down so we can see the whole window. And I'm going to use the, this first one right here. It's going to say this is the next line to execute, right? So, uh, so the red arrow. And so it's going to print this out. So I'm going to say forward. Okay, good start. Following items are top sellers. So now I'm going to go down. To, it's on the next line here. During the month of June, I'm gonna keep going, and it's just getting ridiculous. It's all printing on the same line, and the program's over. So you notice on here that there are no spaces in between those because we didn't tell it to put a space in here, right? Or even at the beginning of the next line. Um, and then this should really probably be on the next line, uh, and this line, and this line. So anyway, you see the problem we have, okay? So um, it's kind of a nice problem. I mean, if you had something going on here, it's nice that you can you know, continue on, go to the next line, whatever you want to do, uh, and you'll find there's other ways of doing it. We don't even necessarily have to close it down and use a new see out statement. We can just keep rolling. But, uh, but let's see how we can modify this to have the output be something that's a little bit easier to see and easier to read and follow and and so people know what we're doing so i'm going to go ahead and go back over here and click on the next line and you're going to see two brand new ways of doing things okay so we haven't seen these yet and the first one is called uh end l this is an l over here and the it's short for end line okay so that's one way of doing things that's a, this is a uh, you know, we're going to send this little stream manipulator along here and we're going to say, hey, we want to change this up. So in this particular case, if we were to look at this line, see out, and we have hello there, what it's going to do is it's going to output this string. Then it's going to say, hey, wait a second, they want me to go to the next line. And it's going to boom, drop the cursor down to the next line and then in the program. Okay, you can do the same thing, not using endl. There is a second way of doing that. So we'll just we're just looking at, at two on this. And we're going to use an escape sequence. And so what that means is we're going to come over here and we're going to get to use a few examples of this. And you can see backslash, not forward slash, backslash N. And that is our new line operator. And so what me, what this will do is as we're rolling along, see out, hello there. And then the new line operator is, is inserted in here. Notice it's before the end of the string. It's actually included in the string. So backslash n, and that tells it the same thing as n line, boom, drops down to the next line, and you're good to go. So I put two links in here for you to play with. Uh, so let's open this one first. And you can see in here I put an end line for each one of these statements. And as we step through the code now, uh, the following items are top sellers during the month of June, computer games, coffee, aspirin and end of the program. So that's one way of doing it, okay? So if we go back to the other link, you can check this way out. Notice now we have backslash n. And so for this one, I mixed it up a little bit. So now you can see I changed the statements just a little bit. Uh, let me go back to edit this code, it shows better. Uh, so here we have the following items are top sellers, new line, that's what that means right there. Backslash n means I want a new line. Then it's going to come down here and print this one, blah, 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 blah. And then it's going to say end line here or new line here. And then it comes down and it will print computer games. Then I said, I want a new line. Then it's going to print coffee. So this is a way to do this all the same one. And honestly, you could have put aspirin up here too. I just wanted to show you different ways of doing it. So you pop back down here. And I, I think uh, Tony even has this one in the book too, but uh, you, have to, you have to look check it out. But anyway, um, so we have now, instead of having, now we're like, hey, wait a second, after coffee, there's no new line here. There's no end L, there's no uh, you know new line operator. Well, it's before the next string. Notice it must be included in the quotes. So then this is a new line. It will then print aspirin, 
and have a new line and the cursor will be after that. So if we click on this little baby and get this running here, come on now, come on. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to step forward. Here we go. Top sellers during the month of June. Notice that's going to the next line. Computer games, coffee. See it printed those as part of the same statement, but it went to the second line and printed uh, coffee. And then it's going to go down after that and print aspirin. Okay, so different ways of doing things. You can use uh, backslash in, you can use endl. You can use a mix of them. Uh, it really doesn't matter. So sometimes you might want to mix it up and uh, and use endl at the end, but maybe you use this in the middle. It just depends. So it's it's a coding preference. And you kind of, as you as you're doing it, you'll find we'll do we'll do a few both ways, and then you'll see kind of the way you like it the best. I don't know. So you should check out. Okay, some other escape sequences. So uh, different ones that we'll use. So backslash n very common. So new line uh, backslash t is another big one. So horizontal tab. It will skip over to the next tab spot. That is that is one we use all the time too. Uh, other ones that we might use, uh, you'll see here in just a few minutes, we're going to use the double quote one. Uh, so you'll see kind of how that works. And uh, I don't know, there's, there are different ones. So one thing really to remember, don't confuse backslash and forward slash. Okay, so drastically different. And the um, little backslash N has to go uh, in quotes. If you're not putting it in the quotes in the actual string, it will not work. You will get an arrow. The compiler will get confused by what, um, you know, what you're trying to do. So backslash it has to go in the quotes. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here before we do any more practice or anything. Uh, we'll come right back. So this is sort of like part one of this section, then we'll have part two in just a minute.